Anyway, as we tool around, we're going to visit uh, the place where they make Marsala wine. Most of the Marsala wine in the world comes from the particular winery uh, we'll be visiting. We've got a great tour guide, happens to be named Paul Costa. Good to see you, buddy. So um, Marsala, in terms of Sicily, where are we right now geographically? In westernmost point of Sicily. Okay, and uh, I don't know a whole lot about Marsala. I know I love chicken Marsala. <laughs> Uh, but there's significance there, right? That's right. Well, it's called chicken marsala simply because they use marsala wine in the recipe. Okay. Now, this beautiful facility behind us is the Florio Winery That's here right. in Marsala. Mm -hmm. And it so happens they export more marsala wine than anyone else That's in right. the world. It's the biggest marsala producing company in the world by far. Whoa. Uh, Give me some perfect perspective. Uh, there are about 350 million bottles per year produced here. Out of this place right here? Just this place right here. Can we look around? Let's go. <laughs> All right, now, Paul, this, this giant, I guess, barrel. <laughs> Tino, Tino, they're called Tinos. Okay, but it's, it's a part of wine history. Absolutely. Right? These are the, uh, th this one here, as, long, as well as a few behind us, they're the only ones left in Italy. Um, they used to hold what we call must, which is uh, after the grapes are destemmed, everything's put in here. The liquid sinks and the grapes come afloat. So, so these aren't it. being used anymore? No, these are completely empty. They're no longer uh, for use. So now they would make this out of what? Stainless or something? Stainless steel. Now yeah. there's a stainless steel or uh, cement and lined with ceramic on the inside. Huh? Now, Paul, this is obviously like a museum piece, like an old still, but absolutely. it's significant to the Marsala story, yes, right? Yes, absolutely. Uh, Marsala wine is very, very different than regular wines as you uh, uncork a bottle of wine. You have to consume it within a couple of days or so. It just starts changing its, mm -hmm. its flavors, etc. Marsala wine doesn't go bad. It's an after-dinner drink. Uh, there's tons of alcohol in it. In turn, the distilling process. Uh, so that adding alcohol into the wine, it'll last a long time on shelf, even if it's uncorked or even open. Wow. Can we sip some? Absolutely. Let's go. <laughs> All right, now, uh, Paul, earlier in the tour, we referenced the oldest Marsala in the world. Right. This is the actual bottle, right? This is it. This is the one that won the Academy Award in 2005. A 1939, and it's not a full bottle. How many glasses no, would you it, get? You get about five glasses, because you don't drink them fully. And uh, how much are we talking here for this bottle? Uh, $800. $800 well, roughly. it's so kind of you, Paul, to I pick this up for us. You're I quite guess. welcome. <laughs> uh, we're all going to be drinking from the Academy Award uh, Marsala. Uh, we've actually finished the tour. This is the sipping room, and I think this is the part of the tour that everybody really looks forward Absolutely. to. Absolutely. Uh, I do. And what a great tour, and what a fabulous place. Uh, so much history. Uh, can you give the folks at home uh, the website for, for this? Uh, sure. This is, it's uh, www.cantineflorio.it. Okay, and uh, if people are coming out here to Sicily or anywhere in Italy and looking for a wonderful tour guide like yourself, Paula, yes, do you have your own website? Absolutely, I do. It's www.tuscantourguide.com. All right. Well, salute. Salute. Marsala.